If you like our content, please like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get alerts when we introduce new videos. When it comes to materials and obstacles affecting Wi-Fi coverage in your environment, we're usually talking about reflection and absorption. There are others, but those are the two that we're going to focus on in this discussion. Reflection occurs when non-absorptive surfaces such as steel or other thick metal objects redirect radio waves entirely rather than letting them pass through. If you're setting up Wi-Fi for your employees and customers in your small business, you have to take into account the materials and objects within your environment. If we use the example of a brewery, we will want to consider where the storage tanks and stills are in the environment and make sure that we don't place APs directly behind those or in any manner that would prevent or allow them to be in between the access point and the client devices that are intending to connect to them. The same could be true for restaurants with large appliances and walk-in freezers or even an office environment with elevators. We want to make sure that we're avoiding those obstacles or at least not placing them in between the AP and the client devices. Now on to absorption. This happens when the RF waves are able to pass through an object. In the example shown here, you'll notice that the wave changes as it passes through the material. This is because the RF wave is being absorbed as it passes through. What's important to know here is that most walls in modern construction will absorb the RF waves and allow them to pass through. However, some materials are a little more stubborn than others. Examples of materials that are not typically problematic include drywall, wood, single plane glass, trees, and even people. On the stubborn side, we have things like steel doors, concrete, and brick. And that's not to say that you wouldn't get an RF signal through a brick wall, but it could impact the coverage that you're able to provide on the other side of it, as well as the speed that those clients connecting on the other side would be able to negotiate, which may not offer the client experience that you are looking for. These are all examples of the types of things you need to identify within your environment so that you can make good decisions on AP placement.